Okay, focus again. 100 doors. Boom. Initially closed. Yes. You make 100 passes by the doors. Full loop. Yes. Uh, first time, visit every door and toggle the door. If the door is closed, open it. If they open, close it. But the first time, all of, all of them are closed, so you have to just open them. The second time, only with the second door. Toggle it. Mm -hmm. The third time, third door. Until you visit the hundredth door and that's answer the question what state are the doors in after the last pass which are open which are closed mm, yeah so we, at the end we need to return doors are open and doors are closed i really want to write pass first but i will not do it <laughs> i will write the solution first back to the challenge so let's let's see we have uh, 100 doors The first time, first iteration. Um, like initially, all of them are closed. So let's say they are like open, false. First iteration, open, true. Uh, then. Starting from the second iteration, we have to only take doors that number can be divided by the number of iterations, so like two. Um, and what, what is that operator called? Um, modular operator, right? This one. So we will the second time. So we will have like door number, um, has to be like this, uh, two, equal zero, right? The same with the third, fourth, and until we reach the end of our loop. I guess if I was writing it in JavaScript, then it would be easy, like just take an uh, array and the no no door number will be index. And I will just index plus one, okay. And then I will just iterate that array and yeah, and the end filter and return. But we are doing it in C sharp, which means we will go more object oriented and we will start with the creating the door class right new class call it door I have already ah oh, we have doors great naming convention good job We will set it to be public. So what properties we will have it on the door? We have to have a door number for sure. And it will be int, right? Door object. Okay, that's all right, I think. Now we need... We don't need door name. <laughs> we need to see if it's open, like we need to have a state. Open or close. Oh. So we will have... Uh, it will be pool. And it will be open. And by default, it said that all of them have to be closed. So we will do this on thing. Uh, do we need anything else? Let me open the chat. First of all, we know that we have to iterate 100 times, right? So we can create a variable. Well, we didn't really like it. 
That's why they mattered. Uh, they wanted us to raise, so I guess array of integers and how do we call the method? Can we call it start? Uh, we can say open doors, toggle doors, open doors. I think that's all right. Yeah. And what do we have in our open doors? We have um, number of how many times we have to iterate. So it will be probably const. Mm, right? Yeah. Because we're not gonna count. Oh, we have we have hundred. So we have our array. Now we have create our loop. So we will start it from the zero and to count. And what we will do? First of all, we need to create a door. So doors. Um, index of five equal new door. Yep. Now, what do we else need to do? We need to set a state on each door, but by default it's already um, false. So in the same loop we can just set them to true, right? We need to take one door. I mean, um, Wait, we need to set a door number, right? First, because we have a door number and we have no idea what is the door num number because we have open. Yes, that we have. But we don't know what the door number is undefined. Or well, like no. So, it would be null if it was uh, nullable in the... We need to, to set it. That's why we will check, uh, get the door. And on the door, we will set door number and it will be equal to 5 plus 1. Now, what else can we do in this loop? Set it open to true for sure. Yeah. What else? Probably nothing. Right? That's good enough. Why are you complaining? Because I don't know. That's fine. Uh, now the question. Do we want to create another loop where we will just implement this solution? Probably yes, but if we figure out that we can, kind of can combine in, in one loop, then we will adjust it later. First you make it work, later you make it pretty or like better performant. Let's start with our loop. So that will be our second iteration, right? Which means... I will be from two, and we will have to it equal or greater than count. And we have to also create another loop, a loop in a loop. Because we want to take each door, check if it can be divided by two, and then set open to the opposite that it has been before. Mm, okay, let's go for for each loop. And 
and what we will have in our for each loop, we will have four. In this. and what we'll we'll drop a check. Then how like if statement, right? We need to check if the condition is fulfilled or no. But do we wanna make it as a one liner or we wanna write if statement? Probably if statement because it's more readable. Right? So they want us to know if the donor number mm, the number and I it should be equal to zero. That's right. And we need to set open the opposite that it was before. Or dot open. I guess that would work. And what do they want us to return? Uh, so return. Um, let's return only doors that have stayed open, right? Probably door numbers, right? Because otherwise, how we will identify that this is door? Um, oh, exactly like that. But then I, we can probably replace this one with a method on the door class uh, to have like to be toggle, so we can handle it here instead of here, right? Let's do that instead. That's why I believe that doing this type of challenges in front of other people, even though you are doing something stupid, like if you feel dumb, you are like pressing random buttons, it's still better and then you train and you become better rather than not doing it. Do you agree or you... Yeah? Or dot toggle. And it will probably do the job for us. Why it doesn't want it? No, it does. Weird. Maybe I misspelled it. Sometimes I do it very often. Sometimes I do it very often. Okay, now, what do we want to test? We don't know what is the correct answer, right? So maybe someone already sold it. And we can just steal it. Drop it here. And override it. Good. How many is there? One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Have found ten. Let's see it crash. <laughs> Next explorer. Let's first run it. Oh, it's fast. What? Okay, it's 10 in, inside of the array, but we don't know if they are the same as here. Um, 
That's all good. Bug. I definitely have to do it more of often, like more comfortable. Like super weird feeling to do it in front of us. Place my quick watch here and result. So we got one, four, nine, sixteen. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. So apparently it worked as expected, which I am very surprised. 